showdown. Well, if you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender, I can assure you of that. This guy has outstanding defense. And having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk to the This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting in Limasso Cypress Awesome. And now we can see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Going to the body there with the right kick. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Gotta figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. He got tagged there. 
knees. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh! What a jab. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Try to establish that jab. And he's down. Double leg takedown. And he connects with the punch. And he's trying to pass. Working on a choke here, potentially. He's looking for a guillotine choke. He's in full guard here. What he needs to do to get the guillotine is first, he's got to throw his arm over the back of his opponent's head. Then he's got to slide his forearm under. Stunning. And that's Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, four seconds, at the very first round, you find the winner by a tap out, Ruth Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.